she can't have I'm running to get a crisp from downstairs one second all she's got is her dog she's got her dog her fans and that's it I've got a real purpose in life I'm a mum to two beautiful kids I get to look after two beautiful children every night like what does she get to do nothing what are you a single mum yeah same man I hear you man and Nikki, I've heard your story, obviously, and I obviously sympathise for you in your situation, you know, because there's nothing worse than you get men out here that literally take their kids for granted and they don't want to, do you know what I mean? They don't want to step up, they want to deny their kids and shit, and then people don't get that opportunity to have that life, and I just feel sorry for you because I feel... It's just yeah, it's bad, isn't it? How people want to roll, but it is what it is. Okay, but you know what? Just do you, man, because whatever you do, you could just you could be doing... No matter what you do, people will always talk shit. 100%. Yeah. Listen, people come to me. Like, today I'm sitting there smiling. People are, why are you smiling so much? Like, you just can't win with people. No, I had someone say that like, to me. The net. You ain't cut for the net, but I am because I'm here. I wouldn't be on here if I weren't cut for it. Mm. Don't let anyone think that, you, that you're not made up to be, yeah? Fuck all, fuck, fuck them lot. Fuck everyone. For real. Oh shit, so. That's I was like, people were saying about, oh, you shouldn't be too like vulnerable in the live. And I'm like, I'm, I'm confident. I know I'm a good wow. mom. No one could can... cry. Listen, it's your life. It's do your you platform. It's your page. If you want to cry, cry, mate. Yeah, cry. that's why I'm cry. like. I know I'm a good mum at the end of the day. People are on about social services. Like, get oh. social services to tap my door. They can come right. in and sit down for a cup of tea. Well, Someone asked earlier, let me see your fridge. I took them on a tour of my fridge. My cup of tea. I've got lamb in there. All the time. Huh? All the time, people are like, social services. People called the police to my house on TikTok. Yeah, what was that all about? Because I see that. What What actually happened? People, someone just called me for my life because I got emotional and my kids were up. The next, the next day is going to be a mad thing, yeah? With a meeting and shit. Okay. Someone called the police and they come through because of someone in the comments on TikTok called the police. Weird people. And I was still alive and everyone saw that and that's what I'm saying. People on here are wicked, man. Well. Yeah, people are weird. weird. This social service thing is... Wait, Mama Kaz, if you was to give OG, Nikki and Angel one piece of advice, what would you say to them? Oh my God, put them on the spot, babe. I'm supposed to give you both a piece of advice. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, Angel, I would say don't give people that, what they expect and stop playing into what people want you to do because that's what you're doing at the moment. Um, and Nikki, I have seen a little bit about you. I just think keep doing you, babe. I think you're actually a really nice girl. I think you're quite misjudged on the app. Mm. But, um, yeah. Yeah, do you know what though let me just say yeah if i was giving in to the people what they wanted to hear i would be slapping down the solicitor's letter that tyrone sent me i'll be honest because the shit oh, what are you tyrone's baby mum yeah and obviously you have everyone saying that i'm lying and i just want clout and shit if i wanted clout i would lay down that solicitor's letter right here on this live right now or at any other time i'll put a video no, but if you do that you'll get nicked though no get in trouble you'll get yeah, in trouble yeah that's why i haven't done it yet but this is what i'm saying i'm trying to get threatened but i know if i want i could do that and my kids would still be fine because they'd be with my brother's girlfriend who has been in my family for over 15 years she's got my niece and nephew yeah i know she's certainly she's my only babysitter yeah so i could do that i know my kids are going to be good right but i haven't for the pure fact i don't care about the views i know what the truth is like if i was going to play into people and what they wanted from me i would be slapping down all that evidence about tyrone and what he's put in the solicitor's letter i basically said anyway in a video what the solicitor's letter about so i'm kind of just sat here waiting for the police to knock my door and be like oh we've got to take you away because your baby dad wants they get you arrested by the end of the day it's only defamation if i'm lying i'm not lying about nothing and anything else i've ever said about the situation is even my honest opinion can i just or ask one question baby you haven't got an answer if you don't want to yeah of course you obviously expressed in that tyrone being a baby like, what was the end goal of it what what did you want what was the outcome the outcome of it was we basically like, because i tried to resolve all of this privately i'm not going to beg a man to be a part of my kid's life when he's basic he's clearly showed that he doesn't want to be a part of his life yeah but now he's trying to be like now in the solicitor's letter he's trying to say that he never had no reason to believe that he was kingston's dad yeah but i told him from day one and he knows that he thank you so much right so i don't want no involvement from him being his dad i don't want that i just basically want 
there's a system in place for my son to be able to get financial support from me. You're out here, you've got a job, you're making money. But wait, can I, week, can I be honest with you though, Angel, yeah? You see, it's, you got a son with him, you're saying? Yeah, I've got a son with him. I've okay, yeah, so... You see, with, when it comes to money, 100%, I feel like dad should have a financial part to play in their child's life, yeah? But you see, when it comes to children, they don't care about the money. They care about the time. They care oh, yeah, about the time they spend. Give you time. No, but you got to understand, yeah? Let me, all right. Let me tell you something, yeah? You see? You see what you've done, yeah? Like, cool. I could understand. I could sympathize as a mother. And I could sympathize that... It's hard, you know what I'm saying? Like you, the, the dad, like it's, the dad has to be there, kind of thing. I get that, especially where you're, where you're, where you're raising a son as well. Because as women, there's things we can't show our sons. You know what I'm saying? Like there's things that we can't teach them. You know what I mean? But I feel like, I feel like there was different ways you possibly could have gone around it. Because at the same time, you're hurting a hundred percent, but. He's also just had another woman that's just given birth. You know what I'm saying? So even thinking from her perspective, like she could all have people. Like you don't know, innit? Like as a, she don't I know if like, we don't know if Tyrone's even told. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, he hasn't told her. He hasn't told her from the way he's acting. But I told her when she was pregnant, and I'll give him the opportunity. He's had the opportunity for more than two years to. Mm. Did he think he was just going to stay a secret forever? Did he not think that playing with a person, another person's emotions? Did he not? Are you not stupid? He's got a big mm. platform. He's a successful guy. Like he had the opportunity to do, do the right thing, and he didn't. At the end of the day, what is he going to think? Like my little boy's going to get to an age where he's going to start asking me questions. Does he think that I'm going to lie to my little boy about who his dad is? I'm never going to do that. So when I tell him who his dad is, and he goes looking on his dad's page and sees these videos of him with his daughter, and then he feels the type of way, what did Tyron want? What he wanted to think about his new girlfriend's feelings, but he didn't want to think about his firstborn son. Can I just say, is Tyron the black guy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you like he had opportunities to come? Wait, around. With that little baby that he's showing off, is that is that your child? No, that's his. That's his little girl with his new missus. Oh, he wanted to meet me. He's known me since school, yeah. In the solicitor's letter, he's all so you, so you have another little talk being a criminal, yeah. He's bringing up about my brother who's been done for burglary, right? But his brother has been done for possession with a a, 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 a knife. What's Why so are you to say that my brother, Mark, we've got this a criminal background and I'm this sort of person saying that I've been involved in fights and that back in the day and trying to paint this picture of me, trying to say that I was on live that night, the first time I come on live. And firstly, yeah, let's, let's, let's just say I never planned oh. to come out on the live and say any of this yet. I was obviously coming live anyway, doing no my thing. And then what, I, what, I just I, got emotional and it just come out. I got the breaking point. I just said it just come out. Oh, so you was on that. So you yeah. actually wasn't meant to say anything. No, I didn't plan it to be, like this. Lie, I didn't mean it to be like this. I've tried with Tyrone for two whole years, yeah. And the only reason why it built up is because right. when I was when I was basically when I felt pregnant with Kingston, I told Tyrone that I was pregnant with him, and he told me that I, we would ruin his life if I kept the baby. So at that point, I left Tyrone alone. Yeah, twenty weeks around approximately into my pregnancy, he messaged me replying to a story on snapchat i've put this all in my defense yeah he messaged me and said where's your bump so i sent him thank you thank you so much and then he ignored me from that point and then a month before i give birth to kingston he messaged me again yeah but he deleted the message why after you told me that i would ruin your life have you messaged me again you're playing with my emotions so from then the first six months of my son's life i was sending him pictures of my son Oh my God. Thank you so much to mother. And he just didn't, he I didn't care. Like, he was ignoring every single message. Angel, like, so you see how you said like, you don't want your son to like grow up and see like, obviously his yeah, dad with, with his potent alleged sister or whatever, yeah. No, I don't care about that. No, no, I mean like, no, but I'm saying like, no, thank you so much. What you said, mama. like what you just said before, you said that raw, you don't want like, how would your son feel basically if he's growing up and he's seen his dad play dad to one child kind of thing? That's what you was kind of saying, yeah? But in that same sense, don't you think as well, like of the digital footprint, your son growing up and seeing you going, like saying, like, talk, like disrespecting it, not even disrespect, but just saying not nice things, like vice versa or whatever. It was. I'm just talking about you because obviously we know that you're definitely the mother in it. So 
don't you ever think about that like the digital yeah, of course or... like and i've said like Thank if you, my son has got a problem with that then i that is a conversation and an apology that i have got to give to my son but at the same time if i don't do nothing and this is all a shock to my son and he sees me and I've not and I've not tried to rectify and I've not tried to do my bit as a mum. Mm, guys are pushing like, life. Through. Yeah, like that's a, that's a conversation now I have to give my son an apology because I haven't done my bit. I've done my bit. And I, do, I know so many mums who I've spoken to have said, listen, I regret not doing what I needed to do as a mum to, do you know what I mean? Give someone the opportunity to do the right thing. Yeah. Don't my son to ever sit there and think, oh, my mum didn't have my back because if anybody had your back, son, it was your mother. And I don't give a fuck, do you know, like with me, if my son is anything like me, and I hope he is, I didn't want to know who my dad was. I don't know who my dad is. I don't know. All I done was an ancestry just to find out where I come from because of my colour was different, yeah? So I feel like my son is probably going to be like me. He's not going to give a fuck who his dad is. He's not going to need his dad because all I have needed in my life was a supportive mum. I didn't even have that yet. Yeah, but that's you that you can't like have me. But I oh, know my son might not be that way. This is why I said I hope that he is that way. But if he's not, then that's an apology that I would give to my son when he's older. Yeah. Yeah. But either way, when he grows up and asks me who his dad is and he looks on his dad's profile and sees, Oh yeah, my dad oh, why didn't you tell my dad about me? Why didn't why did you keep okay. it secret from my dad? I don't want none of that. Yeah. It says disconnect. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> disconnect. Get us all back there. Oh, yeah. Mr. Excel Fitness, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let me get her back in. I'll follow her. No, she follows me. Oh, yeah, I got her. Uh-uh. I didn't understand what was going on last night. Yeah, time. sorry. No, go on, carry on. But I don't want my son sat there questioning me, oh, why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that? So if it comes to that point where he's wanting apologies and shit, he'll have to question everyone else because I've done my bit at the end of the day. But if you know you've got a son out there and you're not trying to do the right thing, this is what I know now Tyro knows that he's... So ever since he's had his little girl, it's not bothered with the son? Ever since he knew that I was pregnant with Kingston, he's not bothered he's not wanted to bother but why would he's known me since year seven in school right so he's known my family background but isn't your boy older than his little girl yeah my son's two babe my was he 100 percent aware that that was his child one thousand a million percent one oh, th- i told him from the, everybody in my hometown knows yeah, that okay. he was my child's father yeah because that's one so thing i never wanted to make a mistake mm-hmm. i never knew who my dad was yeah because my mum and that their life was all fucked up so that's one thing I didn't ever want anybody to think of me that I didn't know who my child's dad was because I know who my child's dad was. Why does he think that's not his child though? He don't think it's his child. He knows it's his child. That's why he's not said nothing about it. And in the solicitor's letter, he said that he had... All he says in the solicitor's letter is he had no reason to believe that Kingston was his son, but he knows that's a lie. Does he look like him? Yes. Yes, he looks just like him. And even his sister said, like, he, he's, he looks like the kids in their family. Like, like, that was, like, he would be able to look at his son and be like, yeah, that's mine, innit? And if he's having doubts, then... He knows yeah. that he's his. This is why he's been so quiet. If he thought that he wasn't his, he'd probably be a big right uproar and his fucking going his, doing his goggle talk and all this, this and that. Like, everybody says, I don't watch this guy, yeah, because... I just don't. I'm too busy being a mum. But everybody said that he normally does the goggle talk if somebody says that something about him and he thinks it's not true. He's going to be jumping on the internet straight away to defend himself. Like, nah, this random woman saying that, that she's got my son is not true. Yeah, he would be saying that, but he's not because he knows Kinson is his son and he's known that from day one. So when I wrote my solicitor's letter and my defence and I've uh, attached all of my evidence myself because I didn't have 1,000... Sorry, I didn't have £1,500 to be able to pay for somebody to reply to his solicitor's letter that he's paid £500 for. Also, I've already applied for CSA months and months back. £700 is owed to my son from him in child support. And he's trying to say that he didn't have no reason. He didn't know that he was meant to be paying child support. But CSA go through like rent accounts. Okay, what, Tyrone's going to be that hard to locate? Surely not. He's going to be like, he does, like, does he see his son? No. No, he's just tried to n- deny him from birth. He's tried to deny him. He wanted to sleep with me and know, he, know, he knew me from year seven. He wanted to sleep with me the whole eight months. 
Thank you, Rio. But I mean, I'm not easy to friend though. I don't get it. Because it, I didn't fit in with their perfect picture life, innit? You know, you see Tyrone and he's with his new girlfriend and they've... I've already got a, a daughter from another baby father, yeah? My baby... My first baby father is basically... He was working with him, okay? They was working together. So he, Tyrone was putting him on for music and stuff because he does that Sounds of Southampton. Tyrone didn't want to have a baby with somebody who already had a baby with somebody else. He thought that he could use me. Tyrone thought he could use me when he wanted to use me. Every time I used to message this guy, oh, let's meet, let's meet up, keep meeting. But because I didn't fit in with his picture perfect life, no, he didn't want to have a baby with me. Sorry, you got me pregnant. So wait, would you just his beat? Wait, yes, sorry. Yeah, not, we would just let me not say that that much. We would just meet, yes, we were just like sneaky links, right? But we'd spoken yeah, before that as well, since school. Like, obviously, I feel like sleeping with someone that you have no, like, like sort of, like, relationship with, if that's risky, man. Especially no, we did, it's not like we didn't have a relationship because we used to speak in, like, when we left school, he used to give me lifts. Like, we had a relationship, do you know what I mean? We used to speak on the phone to each other and that, like. And then when we, then I had a daughter... So we lost contact, then we reconnected in 2021 and we were just sleeping with each other. And I know it's risky, but it's also risky sleeping with somebody who he could have slept with how many what how many girls? How many girls could he have slept with? Any any girls. He didn't have to keep sleeping with me, knowing, like he said in the solicitor's letter, that I've got this background of my family's criminal and I'm this and I'm that, or trying to paint me out to be such a bad person. If I was such a bad person, why did you continue to sleep with me? Do you know what I mean? I just don't understand his... But wait, can I be honest with you, yeah? <laughs> I'm only saying this because I've got brothers and that, yeah, but... When a man's got a girl that he knows he can go back to and release his... Whatever he needs to release, he's going to do it, regardless whether... You know what I'm saying? A man's a man at the end of the day, you get me? Like, <laughs> a man will still he'll lay down with you even if... You know what I'm saying? Like I know what you mean, but come on, a clever guy like Tyrone was so much to lose as such. Come on. Like, yeah, I understand it. A guy from the streets who really just wants to sleep with anyone and anyone. Like, I understand that. But how many girls out here is there for these guys to be sleeping with? He didn't have to be sleeping with me. Come on. How many other girls would there would have been for Tyrone to be able to just sleep? All right, so let me ask you a question. When he wanted to... S whatever, yeah, was you not entertaining it? Listen... Do you know what? Tyrone asked me to go out for his birthday years before we were meeting. I stitched yes. him up. I didn't. I got into another relationship with another guy. That's my baby father now, yeah? So I picked another guy over Tyrone, yeah? And then, while we was meeting, <laughs> I literally... Um, one night, I was meant to meet Tyrone, and I ended up getting flat out drunk because I was emotionally available at this point, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Unavailable. I get that, yeah. And he knew from how I presented myself. Every time I saw this guy, I was either drunk or he was smoking, but we were there. So mm. he knew that I was in an emotionally unavailable. No, I was not back in Tyra and relax with that man. Shut up. Yeah, go on. Um, and he continued to meet me. So it's like, I was a warning fucking sign. Do you know what I mean? I was a warning sign for him. He didn't have to continue meeting me if he wanted to meet me. If he wanted to continue meeting me. Mm. I'm just like, I, I basically, I went to the abortion clinic and I did, I was black, like the first time I could have got pregnant, I got ready, I, I took the morning after pill, yeah. But as time went on, I started getting in a place where I wanted another kid. I wasn't there mentally 100% like in the best place. I went to the abortion clinic, I spoke to the lady and I said, you know what? I just had a feeling I was having a little boy. And at that moment I just said, I don't know, I can't get rid of my baby. Bearing in mind, I've come from an emotionally fucked up family like a dysfunctional family and such like I've, I moved out when I was like 13 I lived with all my friends like I never had no one to guide me I hear that I hear that so wait when you obviously when you lot was doing what you lot was doing was you obviously I'm guessing you, you was you obviously wasn't on no birth control like you wasn't on no conscious like no nah, it wasn't a thing that ever do you know like when I first started meeting him I wasn't there like Oh, by the way, I'm taking the pill. You're like, I'm on... I'm oh, but did he that. know that you wanted to have a baby, though? I asked him if he wanted to have kids. And he said he's not ready, he wasn't ready yet, yeah? And then, obviously, that was, like, two months into when we was, like, sleeping with each other. And then eight months in, seven months in now, feelings changed, but no conversations ever got made about 
any of that. Do you know what I mean? So I went on no contraception. It just happened. And then my son was planted inside me. But the thing is, right, what I'm going to say to you is I never met Tyrone when my daughter was with me, right? Because I lived in the like, like, Every time he'd message me and my daughter was there, I'd be like, listen, I can't meet you tonight because I've got my daughter. One night, I said to him, listen, I can't meet you. My daughter said, yeah. It was the night that I conceived Kingston, right? And he said, oh, well, we'll have to go in your kitchen then. Mm-hmm. He suggested, he suggested to come into my kitchen. Like, I wasn't even going to meet him on this night. Your like, kitchen? Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Kitchen was kitchen. 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 Like, kitchen. Like, <laughs> it's not the kitchen. <laughs> Did you clean the counter, babe? Yeah, on the kitchen counter. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? No. Yeah. Oh my god. Too much information. Not the kitchen ah. counter. Oh shit. <laughs> But now, don't like this. Is what I mean. I just have to make a joke out of it, and this is why everybody takes me the wrong way because I'm not one of these girls who's going to come on and show all my emotions and be there crying and acting like the fucking victim. People are like, oh, you're cooking. Oh, what's you really, what's guys, really getting you down? Like, what's making you like really emotional and like on that app crying? Like, what's it? What is it? What? Like, what's making you feel really down? Like, what's making you feel like, like this way? Because I didn't want it to come to this. I didn't want to come on that app and fucking. Is it because he had another child with someone else? Do you know what? I feel like that did trigger me because when I found out he had another girlfriend and I found out from other people, yeah, I didn't, because oh, I didn't look at this guy's stuff, right? So some of my friends told me, oh, he's having another baby. So when I see that, I messaged him and said, oh, I don't know how you can go on and act like you don't have a son. I said, so that's when I applied for this. <laughs> I thought, fuck you at the end of the day. You, you're going to have another kid. You can pay, you can pay towards Tyro. Or you can pay towards Kingston. I keep calling Kingston Tyro. I don't know why. But... Yeah, it triggered me. I'm not going to lie, it must have triggered me, but I'm not the one to admit that shit. I don't like to admit my emotions, admit how I, how things get to me, do you know what I mean? I just like, normally put a smile on my face and I pretend that everything's all right until I get to a breaking point. I hear you, man. Like, you can't play with people's emotions, but you can't be out here playing yeah, with people's yeah. emotions and feeling, thinking like it's going to be nothing. Do you feel like, do you feel like coming mm. alive, do you feel like it's, you, you feel like it's not out there? What? You feel like it's your outlet, you feel like you can like talk about it on here. Yeah, I feel yeah, like if what I feel like if I didn't do this yeah, I feel like everything happens for a reason, right? If I, I didn't do this the way that I've done it, I wouldn't have had the support that I've had. If I tried doing it privately and you took me to court the way that happened, I wouldn't have the legal support that I have had for free from going on live. I've been able to can I- Whole fucking letter back to the solicitor's response. I've been able to everybody. I appreciate every single body. Thank you so much. So no, you've got a good job. Thank you. Got got time they part. Everybody, thank you. Can I ask you two questions quick here? Sorry. Yeah. Go on. First question is yeah is what what all right so if. DNA comes back, whatever, and it turns out that he is the father. Are you going to allow him to have a relationship with your son? Like, yeah, eventually, obviously, I know it might not be straight away, but... Wait, like, so you don't let him have a relationship with your son? <laughs> no, listen, right? right one, he, it's definitely kind of going to come back that he's the father because he's the father. <laughs> Two, I would never stop any man from having a relationship with their child because that's not my no, decision. That's not right. It, mm. That's not my decision. It's my son's life. life. If yeah. my if he wants yeah. to have a relationship with his son, then I've got to give my son that choice. I can't take that away from my son. So okay. if he wants to have, no. do you know what I mean? I would no. never, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use any of my kids as a weapon against. You was obviously with your baby father first, and then you obviously met Tyrone no, after. No, so no. how did that? No, I, I knew Tyrone from school. Yeah, me and Tyrone. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry, you said from school. Yeah, me and Tyrone always used to speak to each other, and then I got with my second baby dad but obviously he's trying to be a rapper and tyrone is already on the music scene so he does the sounds of southampton in it so quinn got involved with that um and then yeah does that make sense no wait so hold on wait who is your son with tyrone younger no my son with tyrone my son with tyrone yeah is younger yeah all right, so he's younger. Yeah, so obviously you would have met your baby father first. Your first baby father, I mean. No, I had that. a baby with him first, but I met Tyrone first. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so you met Tyrone because obviously school, whatever, but then you met your baby father. And then what after your baby father, you basically went back to Ty? 
Yeah, because my baby father, while I was six months pregnant, he decided he wanted to get another girl pregnant, but he decided he wanted to try and have his cake and eat it. Um, and then he told me when I basically was two weeks after I gave birth to my daughter, he told me that he got another girl pregnant. So then me and him didn't really work out after that. Um, I think we need Jeremy Kyle at this point, but so, it's don't mad. Say well, that. It's mad. Wait, so it is mad. Say that. This is crazy. It's mm. crazy. It is crazy. I'm and lost. this is why I'm like, these men just need to like. What I will say, Angel, and I'll say this because I don't like Tyrone for my own personal reasons. We've gone back and forth myself, but obviously, in a nice way possible, I don't know what the truth is 100%, just like no one else does. Only you know that, and Tyrone, yeah? The fact that he did come on here as, you know, that he, this is him being a first time dad, I think that's well fucking wrong. If he does know that, obviously, he does have another kid, I think that's disgusting. And I will say that because he's come on here like he's, you know, first time father showing us his little one, you know, like he's never had a, a kid before. That, I think, is really wrong. So if what you're saying is true for... Allegedly. I, yeah, I can understand um, how that would make you feel. Listen, I haven't got no reason to lie about the situation. I sit and do a lie detector test all day long, and I'm just stupid because I didn't get no receipts from when I first ever started having them conversations with Tyrone because it was a shock to me as much as it is to everyone else. I did not think that Tyrone would be like this. This is why... The little information I have got, like I've had conversations with his sister about the situation and I've, I've messaged him about the CSP. I can't believe I'm calling his baby dad chat, man. It's just, it's just long. Like, I honestly, I just feel like they're just ungrateful as fuck. And do you know what? I want, I didn't, I, I was thinking to myself, Tyrone, I hope you don't have a, a son first because you don't deserve a son at the end of the day. I mean, he's not. He's had a daughter first. Let's see if he ever gets a son. I'll Yo, no, come, man, no, let's see if karma's really gonna work. He won't ever have another son. No, totally he doesn't yeah. deserve it. Because what I'm saying, no, is come, I don't, I don't. Please don't say that. No, no but it's true. If it's gonna happen, I'm not gonna be able to stop it. One second, Torian, babe. Yeah. They're saying I didn't even realize because I'm not. I don't go live with Nikki. I think situations happen, so that's quite triggering for her. Do you know? I don't know. Really yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I just, when she said it, I just realised that's when I just let her drop. Yeah, it's fine. Well, we'll send our love over this side, guy, because I wasn't aware. I don't know. Yeah, you look, go send her some pink hearts for me. I'll message her. And she's all right. She's all right. <clears throat> um, yeah, this situation's mad, man. Mm -mm. Uh, do you know what I'm glad that you invited me because I did kind of want to get everyone else's opinion on it like because I feel bad I'm a good hearted person I didn't ever want it to come to this so I even, like when I'm sat here saying I feel bad people are like you shouldn't feel bad you're just telling the truth but I do feel bad because I didn't ever want to like when someone said oh you're here trying to tarnish this guy and it's like I'm really not trying to tarnish anybody I'm just telling the truth I've been ignored for so long in this situation but I've yeah. literally just been point blank and ignored him because I don't express myself in the right way and I don't know how to explain myself. I haven't been in uni for years and years, so I don't know the right words to use sometimes. People misunderstand me. I'm abrupt. I, I Do you know what I mean? I'm just not in touch I'm with really the I don't girl. write down a fucking script and come on TikTok and be like, oh, I'm going to write this, I'm going to say this. I'm just mean. It's just like, I don't mean to offend anybody or trigger anybody at the end of the day. I just want to do what's right by my son. So later on, when he's actually at an age and his daughter is at an age where they're both on all under, old enough to understand, and that's another thing, yeah. Do you know when you get these um these studies that have been carried out about siblings that get separated from a young age and then they end up hooking back up and later on in love and they end up falling in love with each other because they've got that attraction because they're related. Big studies have been done on that. What, did Tyrone expect me not to say nothing? Or, like, Wait, say that again. Uh -huh. You know when you get, like, you've had documentaries and they've done massive study. His sister said this to me, yeah, when I had a, a, a conversation with Verona, so she said that love, the big studies that have been done on siblings that are separated from birth or don't see each other for all their lives, but they end up meeting each other when they're grown and they have this attraction to each other because they're related, they end up getting in relationships and falling in love with each other. Yo! No, it's true. I'm a fucking man. I'm a crusty. No, 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 no. You look beautiful. What the hell? Oh, but yeah. it happens. And what did Tyrone expect? Oh, that is wild. What What was that? What am I expecting to do? Just stay silent for the rest of my life? What was I meant to do? Just pretend to my son that I didn't know who my baby dad was? 
a lot. But it's mad. It's all like a. It's not like a Jeremy Cole show situation because I know who my baby is. Do you know what I mean? They don't need to be anything. I can't take it, guys. I'll be honest with you. That's enough for me tonight, darling. Alexa. No, sorry, love. What? What? Alexa, play. No, that's too much. Sorry, guys. What is that? I had to cut, guys. My head hurts. What? Like... Oh my god. Like, I don't like Tyrone in it for my own reasons. Like, me, he's had a lot of opinions to say about me and my relationship. You know, especially when I went through what I went through and it was all over this app. So, obviously, like, you know, he said a lot of things about what I've gone through. But I'm not going to sit here and just be biased just because I don't like him. But what she just said there was wild. That's crazy. Yeah, sorry. I don't know, guys. To be honest with you, I don't, in the nicest way possible, I don't really care. Like, I really don't care. None of this, none of this needs to be on TikTok. That's what I know. You know, if it is true, it needs to be, that needs to be dealt with off of this app. And yeah, that's, you know, there's nothing really more. You ain't got to say too much. I look so rough. Oh. I need to sort myself out. What is that? But guys, I'm gone. Um, I may come back on. I've got something to quickly sort out. So I might come back on. I love you. I know I need to literally come on just for a little bit. I might come back on. I'm not making any promises. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? Oh, because I don't like sitting here being a fucking gingerbread. So I might come back on. How do you know? No one's even live. <sighs> 